Good morning, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and today we are solving The Waiting by Philip Newman. This is a region sum line Sudoku. That means we have normal Sudoku rules, so we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3 by 3 region. And then there are also some blue lines in the grid, and each of these blue lines goes through more than one region of the grid. So for instance, this blue line passes through region 2 and region 3. And the rule for region sum lines says that within each of the regions that the line goes through, the sum of the digits on the line is the same. So in other words, the sum of these two digits is exactly equal to the sum of these three digits. Or over here, this one goes through three different regions, so the sum of these digits is equal to the value of this digit, which is equal to the sum of these digits, and so on. So this is part of a series of similar looking puzzles that Philip has been doing. Uh, we are starting with these two columns. This is going to be a 9 to finish the column, and this will be a 1 to finish column 9. And from there, it may look less than obvious what we need to do with this. And I'm not going to lie, I spent a little bit of time staring at this, but we're going to kind of work our way around this central area. So the thing that jumps out to me first is that this 7 has to sum with something to make a single digit. So that's going to be 1 or 2, and then that will be 8 or 9. And then this 3 also has to sum with something to make a single digit, but the something can't be 1, 2, 3, or 4. So it has to sum with something that's at least 5. It has to be 5 or 6, which makes that an 8 or 9. But the thing is, if this was an 8, we have to make the sum with two digits in this region. But we can't use a 5, 6, or 7. And the only three ways to make a sum of 8 with two digits are 3 and 5, 2 and 6, or 1 and 7. And we couldn't use any of those here. So this actually has to be the 9, which makes this the 8. Now, because that's the 9, how are we going to make a sum of 9 without using 5, 6, or 7? We can't do 2 and 7. We can't do 3 and 6. We can't do 4 and 5. The only thing we're left with is 1 and 8. So that's going to be a 1, 8 pair. Okay, the last three digits here are going to be 1, 2, 3, and 7. This can't be a 7 by Sudoku, and this can't be a 3 by Sudoku, but more than that, we can't have a 7 on this line because 7 plus something is definitely going to be either 8 or 9, and 8 and 9 are already taken in region 8, so that's not a 7. That means there's a 7 up here, and because we can't use a 1 with it, it's got to be a 7 and a 2 on this line. So that is a 2-7 pair, and that's a 9. So we can't use a 2 here, and that makes this still a 4. And that's kind of the break into this puzzle. So let's start working around these regions now where our other lines are going to go. So we need 4, 5, 7, and 8 here. And that can't be a 4. These can't be 7 or 8 because we have those in the column. And so that's not a 5. Okay, so that means that these two sum to either 9 or 10. Now can we make a sum of 9 or 10 over here? Well, we can't actually make a sum of 9 because if this was going to sum to 9, this is 4. So these two would have to sum to 5. How do we make 5? Either 1 plus 4, which is not going to work at this point because we already used up our 4, or 2 plus 3, and we have already used 2 and 3 in the region. So this cannot be 9. This must be a 10, meaning these sum to 6, meaning they are 1 and 5. So now I have 9 and 7 up here, and I have 9 right here. That places a 9 in this cell. That's a hidden 9 in region 3, and a 7 in this cell. And now these are going to be 6 and 8, and because of the 1, 8 pair there, I get to place the 6 right there. So now I get a 3, 4 pair in these cells, a 6, 7 pair in these cells, and a 5, 8 pair in these cells that I can pencil in. Okay, what next? So I have a 9 there, <clears throat> so that gives me a hidden 9 in region 6, which is going to go right there. These cells will therefore contain 2, 3, and 4. And these will also contain 2, 3, and 4, but because I have a 3 and 4 in row 4, this is going to be a naked 2. That's a 3 and a 4, and the 3 resolves this 1, 3 pair, which in turn resolves this 1, 8 pair. And the 2 is going to resolve the 2, 7 pair that we placed earlier. So now these cells have to contain 6 and 8. These are going to contain 7 and 9. And I can't use a 9 here because this plus something else has to sum to 8, so it can't be any bigger than 7. So it's a 7 with a 1. And that makes this a 2. The 7 I just placed gives me a 6. The 6 I placed gives me an 8. And that resolves the 5-8 pair. So the top part of the grid is nearly complete. Let's work on the bottom part. So here we need 2, 3, 5, and 9. 
That's not a nine. That's not a five. And that is not a two, three, or nine. So that's her five. That places the nine in the row. And if we look at this column now, we need two, three, and four. And one of those has to be a two if you look at this triple. So that's not a two. That's a three. This is a three and this is a four. All right, now I need one and five here to finish off this region. And this is going to be either six, three, and two, which makes this 11, which would make that a three, or six, three, and four, which would make that 13, which would make that a five, which is not possible because there's a five in the column. So that's a three. These guys sum to 11. This is six, three, and two. That makes this a four. Resolves the two, three pair here. That's going to be six and seven. That's going to be a five. And then my last two digits to place in the puzzle to finish off are two and six. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's The Waiting. Hope you guys liked that one. The link to solve it yourself is in the description of this video. And I will see you again in three days.